Hi, Joe Malinchak, and uh, today we're going to take a look at something kind of cool. I was uh, searching the internet and I found this uh, Lego compatible uh, steam locomotive from the Harry Potter series, uh, the Hogwarts Express from Mold King. Um, I'm sure it's like a knockoff, uh, but it uh, the price was right, and what attracted me to the model was it comes with a uh, fogger they're calling it or a little steam generator that produces smoke it also comes with the transmitter receiver basically everything you need to get the model up and running and uh, lego has been lacking in their uh, kits uh, their locomotive kits uh, last year i purchased the uh, crocodile locomotive and also the disney locomotive that kind of got me hooked and they're beautiful uh, Beautiful kits, they run great, but uh, there's not a whole lot uh, on their website as far as uh, different locomotives that you can purchase. Um, so it's great to see companies like Mold King uh, come out with this, and uh, hopefully Lego will do the same. I mean, they're really missing out on the opportunity. But uh, anyway, let's uh, open the box, take a look at what's inside. But first, if you would like to see more content like this, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, here I have everything laid out in front of me. Quite a bit of parts, actually. Uh, we have an instruction manual, which I'm really happy to see. A lot of these uh, Lego knockoff uh, models, you have to download a PDF off the Internet, and it's okay, but uh, it's really great to have a manual to do this. We have a sticker sheet which it says uh, Magic Castle, not Hogwarts Express, I'm sure, for legal reasons, but I'm thinking uh, Lego has the uh, their own little Hogwarts uh, Express model, and I have one of those. I might use the, uh, the decals from that or make my own, but uh, certainly a few options out there. came with track, which I didn't realize, but uh, it comes with track, so you can run the model instantly. A uh, transmitter. We have a motor, a receiver unit, which feels kind of heavy. I think it's a rechargeable, comes with a cable. Uh, that's a surprise because I thought it ran off of batteries. A little sound module, which I'm also curious to see how that works and sounds. Um, but then it comes with the, uh, there's our little... Uh, smoke unit and I uh, really can't wait to see how that works they give you an eyedropper so um, of course lots of parts in the back I think what I'm going to do is we're going to hook up this uh, smoke unit just to see how that operates because I don't think I can wait uh, until I finish the model so we're going to hook that up check it out then we'll build the model and evaluate the completed product Okay, I have everything uh, hooked up, the uh, motor, uh, the uh, steam unit, and uh, these are LED lights, the uh, transmitter, uh, the receiver, and the little sound system. I have rechargeable batteries, they give you one charging cable, which is kind of neat. The uh, sound unit just plays a continuous uh, steam whistle sound. I don't know, it's kind of cool for what it is. Uh, okay, the uh, smoke unit. I turned the uh, smoke unit on just to test it before uh, turning on the camera, and it took a little while to get the, uh, s the steam to come out of there, but uh, it worked pretty well. Now, as soon as I turn on the receiver, it starts pumping smoke. If I add a little more water in there, it really starts pumping smoke. Now, this is cool. When I turn the light out, it has a blue LED, which you can see, and it highlights the uh, highlights the look of the uh, steam coming out of it. And uh, it's actually cold if you put your fingers over it. It's a cold, uh, just a cold steam. Yeah, it's a really nice job. The uh, transmitter is proportional. The only problem is uh, if you have to hold your finger on the transmitter to keep the uh, locomotive running, that's kind of a pain. There is an app I downloaded so you can run it on your phone, and uh, I have to play with X. I'm not sure how to get that to run continuously either, but uh, there might be a way. Uh, the LED lights look really cool. 
So uh, again, just a really nice system so far for what I paid for this. And I'm gonna a, assemble the locomotive and we'll uh, see how all this works together. Okay, here we have the completed mold uh, king uh, locomotive and passenger car. Uh, overall, it was uh, not bad. It was uh, it was enjoyable to build. I had a lot of fun building it. Um, I did a little more research and found out you can purchase it online for uh, as little as a hundred dollars, but it comes without the box and without the instruction manual. So I paid 170 bucks, uh, but I got a beautifully uh, illustrated instruction manual which is basically just like any other uh, manual from Lego so it's nicely done um, shows everything the uh, locomotive uh, had a few just a few issues with it I uh, I finished it and, and, and tested it on my uh, layout real quickly uh, that I just have temporarily set up my floor uh, after about an hour of running, maybe less, uh, I had an issue where the gears, uh, the motor came loose, just popped up, and it started stripping the gear between the motor and the main shaft that drives the uh, six wheels. So what I did was I disassembled the whole thing and uh, changed out the gears and reassembled it. I lubed everything with some white lithium grease, which is uh, safe for the, uh, the plastic parts. Uh, all the gears, all the wheels, anything that moved, I added some white uh, lithium grease. I highly recommend uh, doing that for a, if you're going to build this model. And uh, so use uh, either lithium grease or anything that's safe on plastic uh, that may work with, uh, with the moving parts. Uh, I haven't experimented with too many other lubricants, uh, so let me know if you find something that's, uh, that's good. But uh, the, the, the white uh, lithium grease seems to work fine. Uh, one other issue I had was with the four, you know, the four main wheels on the locomotive are attached with a uh, flexible kind of rubber shaft, and it's it, basically mine wouldn't even stay on. I use my favorite glue, UHU. Uh, it's a foam glue, but it's a contact cement. I use it on all my airplanes, and uh, seems to work on everything. I uh, I use that to attach the uh, the front wheels, and uh, what's nice about it is that you can remove it if you had to at a later date but uh, they seem to be staying on and uh, seems to work fairly well uh, we'll show it running on my layout here in a little bit um, the passenger car was uh, was really uh, enjoyable to build beautifully has a nice interior um, you can take a look here at the interior the passenger car is nicely done I would really uh, like to maybe purchase a few more of these maybe a hundred bucks just to have the uh, passenger car alone maybe to have some extra uh, spare parts I think it'd be uh, be a good buy um, to uh, turn the locomotive on there's a little clear brick here just hit the button and you can see uh, smoke starts coming out uh, instantly uh, let's talk about the atomizer, or I'm just going to call it a, a smoke unit. Basically, I had trouble oh, when I first turned it on, nothing was coming out. Uh, so I determined that if you uh, just blow some air in here, maybe with a little bit of water, but uh, yeah, just blow it in there, it'll, uh, it'll start coming out fairly well. Uh, if it gets starts slowing down, you take this little Q-tip applicator. Go ahead and clean it out. Uh, as the uh, smoke starts diminishing, yeah, you know, we can just take a little bit of water in there. We'll just add a little bit of water. And it's coming out pretty good. Uh, they say do not add more than two eyedroppers full of water as it may damage the uh, unit, which uh, I haven't tested um, and I'm not going to. Uh, mine seems to be working pretty well. Um, yeah, after about a minute or two of running, it seems to run low and you have to fill, fill it up again. But uh, yeah, if yours isn't working, blow. try blowing some air in there, maybe with a dot of water, and give it a little time uh, and, and maybe it'll start working. Uh, but I've had pretty good luck with this one so far. Uh, really adds the next level uh, to the, uh, the look uh, and feel of this model. Um, I think it's very well done. 
Uh, hopefully they'll add uh, some more uh, locomotives and cars. I'd like to see a standalone passenger car. That would be really cool. But uh, overall, really, uh, really nicely done. Um, let's take a look at it running uh, on my little layout here. And uh, I would like to thank everyone for watching the video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. They win.